Due to a scheduling discrepancy, the doubleheader scheduled against the Hustlers of Lexington, Kentucky was reduced to one game. But at first, this game resembled a derby of another sort. With solo shots leading off scoring for both teams, thoughts turned to a home run derby. The Copperheads' other 13 hits and 9 runs didn't leave the yard, but they were a definite sign of a resurgent offense. Robbie Moore says the playoffs won't affect their mindset at the plate. We've been swinging it pretty well all season, and you know the playoff atmosphere I think for us isn't really going to change from the regular season. Yeah. We're just going to keep going up there and swing the bats, and we've you know we've had success this year, so I don't think much is going to change. The Snakes scored more runs than in the past three games combined. As Justin Marrero says, this game is a good blueprint for the playoffs. We did a good job today, just um, you know putting good swings on the ball, working the count a little bit, and. Um, you know, some, you know, it looks like we found you know lineup we need, mm -hmm. and uh, hopefully you know going to the playoffs, uh, we could just keep hitting like that, mm -hmm. like we did today. The team's pitching solidified behind Tory Doors' five innings of one-run ball. Matthew Robertson and Trey Pops' three hits and no runs allowed shut the door to give Tory his second win. Head coach Mike Florex says the team saved their best for last. We think it was the best game that we played all year. Uh, pretty clean defensively, and our pitcher Tordy was tremendous. And then Matt Robertson came in, and he was huge, gave us a big lift. And Trey shut it down, and we swung the bats very well, uh, all up and down the order. So, um, you know, hopefully we're, we, this is a good uh, taste of, of things to come. The Snakes finish in third and must win their play-in game against Cincinnati, a rematch of last year's championship. Reporting for the Copperheads, I'm Maddie Kuhn.